Hey guys and welcome back to Astro Music and Tutorials. Have you guys ever wanted a lo-fi plugin? I don't mean a lo-fi effects plugin like vinyl or RC20 that just adds a vinyl effect or a retro old school effect to your melodies. I mean a plugin that gives you the sounds that you need to shape your lo-fi beats. Whether it's a piano or a lead or even bass. I think I have just the plugin for you. Today I'm gonna review a plugin called Lo-Fi Panda. As the name suggests, it's a plugin for lo-fi beats. It gives you all the sounds that you need, whether it's bass, pads, or lead, to help you make your lo-fi beats. So this is a VST by a company called Kids Cream. Currently it only costs $10 after a deal, and it's completely worth the $10, in my opinion. I'm gonna make a beat using just the Lo-Fi Panda plugin so you can get a taste of what it has to offer. Okay, here's what the interface of the Lo-Fi Panda looks like. It has your standard effects like volume, pan, bend, reverb, attack, decay, sustain, release. And you can mess around with that however you want. And then you have the presets. Now I haven't counted, but yeah, that's a lot of presets. There's a lot of bass, a lot of piano, guitar, a couple of sax, synth, harp, pad, and keys. Now I'm just gonna take a couple of sounds. I haven't really used all these sounds. I'll admit that not all of them are really amazing according to me but there are some piano and bass sounds that are amazing and i do use them a lot for my lo-fi beats i've never really found a solid bass plugin to add to my beats i can i can safely say that this bass beats all other basses when it comes to chill hop again that's my opinion so yeah let's make a beat That sounds nice. So we're gonna go with the piano called Coffee. Let's come up with a chord progression. Gotta fix the BPM first. Let's make it. Let's make a slow-ish beat today. So sixty-eight. Ah, sixty-five. Perfect. Nice. I don't always get it in the first take, but I guess this turned out well to quantize it a little. So as you can hear, this piano has a sustain of its own, so it doesn't get cut off like most of the other pianos do, so I don't have to like worry about extending it to the end. So yeah, we we have a 4-bar chord progression. Now let's extend it to 8-bar and add, add a little bit of a variation, see what I can come up with. nice now let's find another piano in lo-fi panda and let's play a lead over that Hmm. 
there. Let's find a good base. Will I panda again? Yeah, let's circle to the base. Cozy base for a cozy beat. I had to, sorry. Yeah, just copy the bass notes of the piano. We don't need a lot of bass variations here. Try finding another base. That's better. I think we should increase the BPM a little bit. Make it a little bit more boom bap. Try 75. Seventy-two. What if we add a radio preset to it? Oh, that is cold. Now for some drums. So to fit that boom bap style, let's add some nice acoustic sounding boom bap style drums. Not complete boom bap, but as boom bap as lo-fi can get. Well, this is gonna be just Now we need some pads. Let's open Lo-Fi Panda again. And let's go through the pads. A little downside of the Lo-Fi Panda, some of the sounds are really high in volume, so you need to reduce the master volume before you can play it out. Otherwise, it's gonna sound really distorted. Most of these sounds have a good sustain, so I don't need to like hold it out. What we're gonna do is let's make a quick little intro. Take the first half of the chord progression, put it up an octave, and just put it right there. Even better, let's let's do this. Let's add another lo-fi panda. Choose that same piano preset. What was it? Coffee. High octave intro and paste it in this plugin so that it'll be easier for us to mix. And we can add some cool effects to it, like Cymatics Origins. Let's see if we can have the radio filter sound on it. Just to fit the theme, 
Let's find a let's find a vinyl audio file. Just some noise. What? That's all we need. It's a really simple beat, but I think it's effective. I will show you guys the full beat. So yeah, that was the full beat guys and I hope you guys enjoyed that. You can see how simple it is to make a lo-fi beat. And I hope you enjoyed the Lo-Fi Panda plugin and got a little taste of what it has to offer. If you guys do like it, go and buy it. It's only $10. I assure you that it's gonna boost your performance. Yeah, and I guess that's it. Like and subscribe if you like the content and we'll see you next week.